guys, what is up? I am back again for another week of Savage Saturday. This will be the second week I've been doing this. Originally, I intended to play both Spelunky and Nuclear Throne, but um, I actually have to go somewhere soon, and I took a nap for a lot longer than I thought I was going to, so instead of doing both Spelunky and Nuclear Throne and trying to make time for both, I'm just going to play Nuclear Throne this week, and I will probably be playing for like a uh, half hour, 45 minutes ish. It'll be pretty short. But let us get into it, because I'm going to try to explain while I play, which will go very poorly, I'm sure. Um, like Spelunky, it is a roguelike. What is up, Dragonplay? Um, except that it is a lot more action oriented. Like, Spelunky is a lot more about learning. Uh, not to say that this isn't about learning, uh, but it's a little bit more action-oriented, so your reflexes matter a little bit more, I feel like. So, you start, and you are one of a bunch of mutants who wants to reach the nuclear throne. So, you don't start with all these characters, uh, you unlock them as you go, and they each have different abilities. Personally, since I suck at this game, I use Crystal, because Crystal has more HP, and they each have an ability, and Crystal's is that they can shield. And so the entire goal of the game is to reach the nuclear throne, which I personally have never done, but my brother did it once on my account, which is why I have this character here, Rogue, which uh, is unlocked from beating the nuclear throne. But we'll get right in here so that I can kind of explain it. So, similar to Spelunky, it has... Uh, a level structure where you go through a series of levels and try to get to the end where you fight a boss. What's up, Maverick? Um, it's going to be really hard for me to talk while I play this, isn't it? So the goal is to kill all of the enemies in a level uh, by shooting them to death. And you start off with just a revolver, and you can carry two weapons. Uh, like, as you can see, I picked up the grenade launcher. You can switch by pushing triangle. And unlike Spelunky, you can level up over the course of a run. Which you do by when you kill enemies or in little canisters, you get uh, radiation. And as you level up, once you beat a level by killing all the enemies in it, you get to choose one of four mutations, which are basically like perks. So depending on what you got going on at the moment, what weapon you have, your play style, you want to pick different things. I hate all of these. Uh, I don't have any energy weapons. This one is okay. I don't know. I feel like it's so worthless, though. When you get hit by an enemy, you deal damage to them. An extra chest spawn. I hate this one, too. And this prevents death once. But in my experience, it doesn't help very much. I'll go with the sharp teeth, I guess. And I am very particular about the weapons I like, uh, as most people are. Um, the crossbow is actually really good. I am just bad with it because it is a little bit harder to aim. The grenade launcher is good, though. You just gotta watch out because you can kill yourself very easily. Oh, oh shit. I also like the shotgun. But one thing that you have to worry about is ammo. Because it is kind of scarce later on. And like there, I did not level up, so I did not get to pick a mutation. Oh, shit. And it gets, uh, it gets pretty special. It's pretty, pretty hectic really quickly. Um, And it is just like a, it's a standard uh, dual joystick shooter. I'm using the left stick to move the body, the right stick to move the reticle. And so as you'll, we're, as we go, we'll encounter bosses. So like right now I am on stage 1-4 where I fight uh, the crazed bandit here. I gotta watch out. He will be relatively simple. There we go. Because the grenade launcher kicks his ass. And we're good. And I love this one. 
because uh, you get more HP and ammo drops, which is wonderful, because you get med kits and stuff like that. Melee range can be decent um, if you have a melee weapon, which I do not. Mutate later is good, because if all the mutations you got there suck, at the end of the next level you get to pick another one, so it's like you get a second chance at it. And faster movement is okay, but I'm going to go for the more HP and ammo drops. And so there's a, only a, there's not a whole lot of the mutations. Uh, after a couple of runs through, you'll see all of them, and you'll start to know which ones you like. And so as you progress, like mo most roguelikes, uh, it gets more challenging as it goes. So you go through the four stages of what are basically like the desert there, um, and then you get here to the sewers, which the sewers are only one stage. Uh, but they're a pain in the ass because of these stupid rats, and I hate the sewers. And I feel like this is the stage where most new players, brand new players, will have trouble at first. Mm. Just because it's annoying. What? Where are the enemies at? There he is. How do you hide like that? That's... There's still more? What? I'm blind. I can't see anything. Ah, uh, there's a rat. Ooh, and one of these stupid things. And so what kind of sucks is you, uh... You die really quick in this, and it, it just it happens so suddenly. It's one of the reasons why I feel like health doesn't really matter. Like, plus four health is okay. Actually, Rhino Skin is something that I would almost always get. Uh, more HP for med kits makes it so you get eight health per med kit instead of four. But I personally, out of these, I think I'm going to go with the less enemy HP just because it takes less bullets. And I have not uh, really... Upgraded my gun, so I'm gonna get pooped on here. Here we got the junkyard where we start to get a lot more savage. Uh, we got these snipers who blow up if you shoot them near you and they will snipe you across the entire goddamn map. We have these stupid ass crows that fly around and be obnoxious in general and shoot burst shots. Oh, God. And you'll see that sometimes, uh, if I push the left trigger here, I use a shield which will block some incoming bullets. That is my man Crystal's ability here. Oh, maybe I'm wrong about medkits. Maybe they only heal two, and with the lead stomach you get four. Which I guess that makes sense. And see, this is what sucks about the junkyard stages here, is like these crows will always fly back to the beginning and then you gotta look around for the things. You got these sweet fire-breathing crazed weirdos. Oh man, I got hit by that. That was weak. Oh, see, we're already going to die. These portals here, uh, they show up every so often. If you shoot it a lot, these crazy uh, time police will come out of it, and they're pretty strong, so you got to watch out about that. Oh, my God, we're done. I'm not going to make it past the junkyard this round. Get in there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we'll see. I never really use this one because I, if I die from an explosion, I tend to be dead. So I'll mutate later. If I survive this level, that'll be a nice reward. No, oh, I died because that goddamn ninja does so much damage. Mm, okay. And that's a run of nuclear throne. Now it's like roguelike, and you start over at the beginning. Someday I will reach the nuclear throne. Today is probably not that day, because I am not focusing as I should be. And I'm instead trying to explain to you how to play nuclear throne at the same time.
<clears throat> and like sometimes you'll get like a really good run going, like you'll have a really powerful gun uh, and you'll have a lot of bullets for it, you'll have the right skills and that feels really good. Uh, but then you still gotta be super careful, cause one wrong move can, uh, kill you at any moment. The, this game, I find myself getting more frustrated than Spelunky, um... And one of the main reasons for that is, uh, this game is made by Vlambeer, they've made other titles like, uh, Luft Rousers, which is like a weird, uh, another type of bullet hell shooter thing. Oh my god, a rare spawning enemy, great. And they make all their games in Game Maker Studio, and what sucks about that is it doesn't necessarily translate very well to the consoles, and this was... It's, it was clearly made for PC, where I also have it. Um, and when I bought the PS4 port, I was very excited about it, because for some reason, when I get these games on PC, I don't play them a lot, and then when they come to PS4, I do. And this version of the game is, like, busted. Um, I'm surprised I haven't seen it yet, actually, because what normally happens is, like, I'll be on a great run in this game, and it will just crash. Like, it'll crash to the XMB. And they have noted... Uh, on their Twitter and things like that, that it is, it is broken, and they inserted, inserted, they put in a patch to Sony, uh, before New Year's Eve, I think, it was, like, right after Christmas, right around when it was launched, uh, and the patch was rejected, uh, because it didn't meet Sony's criteria, so... They're still working on that patch, but the game crashes all the time. Uh, hopefully we don't see that. That would be really good. I would enjoy not seeing the game crash. Uh, and you'll just, like, you'll beat a level, and you'll just all of a sudden the game will crash, or, like, you'll get hit by a certain enemy. Something stupid will happen, and the game will just crash. And it, it would happen to me specifically all the time when I'm on a really good run. Uh, like, a couple days ago, I almost made it to the nuclear throne, and I was one level away, and the game crashed. And I raged very hard. Uh, the main thing that sucks is these games are very much about, like, the daily challenge and things like that. And in the PS4 version of this game, it is not working, uh, currently. But the reason for that is actually a little bit different in that they changed the server that they're using for the daily challenge. Uh, so that once they patch the game... I believe they're testing those servers right now, so those will be up soon-ish. Oh my god, are we real fucking what? Oh. That was bad. This game makes me swear a lot more than Spelunky 2, I feel like. Oh, what is happening? How many snipers can there possibly be? Look at this clown. He's down there sniping me. Oh, God. Oh, there was another one? See, that's what I get. I think there's not that many. Look at this guy trying to kill me. Oh, ho, ho. And so, yeah, I, I don't know... I with Spelunky there's like a lot to explain now that I've explained the basics of this game that's kind of it um, you just got to get to know what the stages are like the enemy types uh, over time you'll pick up a bunch of weapons I'm gonna die this is not the run you'll pick up weapons and you'll learn what each weapon does uh, and you'll know things to be careful for on your next runs and you'll know which mutations to pick So I guess it's not it's not quite as like nuanced as Spelunky is. Uh, it might be more exciting to watch because it's like more uh, like a reaction based. I 
And that's fine. Oh, I ran out of bullets, see? There we go. Oh, didn't realize this was a triple shot. This is the boss of the junkyard, big dog. He sucks, I already beat him. The frame rate there needs to get fixed up real quick, like, because that's obnoxious. Every time it, you beat that, it, like, you're afraid you're gonna die because of the frame rate. Wow, then we've officially made it farther than we did last time somehow. I hate all of these, but we'll go with slower enemy bullets, so it's easier for me to dodge, because I suck. And here's my least favorite level of all time, the caves. You have these, uh, stupid ass... spider crab... crystal -y guys. They have a billion health, and if they touch you, they do a lot of damage, but you especially have these, uh, really terrible crystal things that, like, shoot a thousand lasers at you and kill you instantly. Basically. Okay, so the fact that they're... This is a triple shot will be helpful to me. Oh boy. Oh look! We're totally boned, because I just got caught in the corner by this fucking thing. Oh ho ho! Oh yeah, we're toasted. Get dead. Oh no no no. I need explosives very badly. Sledgehammer's pretty decent. Ah, well, now we're we're done. Bloodlust is great, because sometimes when you kill enemies you get HP. Where I cannot win uh, with the weapons that I currently have. While the sledgehammer is great, it has really low reload speed, and these enemies are really fucking fast. Oh, jeez. These big guys are not that much trouble, uh, but they do blow up on death, which really fucks you over. Something special. Oh no. For a while, melee was my weapon of choice. Uh, there's a- the sledgehammer is like the best one that I have seen in the game. Uh, it's really slow, but really powerful. Then you have like a- the shovel, which is not quite as long-reaching, um, but still kind of powerful. Uh, and you have a wrench and a screwdriver. The screwdriver is terrible, in my opinion. I don't know why you would ever use it. There's, like, no reach. You can reach a secret level with it earlier on, but that's really, I feel like, the end of its use. Oh, yes! This is crazy town. How am I doing this well? with a non-upgraded sledgehammer. Because normally, if I get this far and I have some melee skills, using the sledgehammer is really great, but I had nothing there. So yeah. Died again, huh? Yay! So yeah, sadly I don't have a lot of time this week to play. Um, so I'll probably only do a couple more runs. But, next week I will definitely do Spelunky and Nuclear Throne, and then uh, in two weeks, when Crypt of the Necrodancer comes to PS4, I'll throw that into the rotation as well. Oh, no. It's weird, like, it's just kind of like Spelunky, once you get accustomed to the first couple levels, it just becomes, like, second nature almost. Oh, that was shitty, wasn't it? And sometimes the portal doesn't spawn where it's supposed to. I don't know if that's a glitch or what. 
Most hit bullets become ammo. This just means that I sometimes when I use a bullet, it doesn't actually count as being used. These little worm things that explode into maggots, they're kind of annoying, but after a little bit, you just get used to them. I hate the disc gun more than anything. Because you can kill yourself with it. Alright, Big Bandit got stuck there. That was easy. We cheesed the shit out of that, didn't we? Alright. Easy. It's like we were barely even here. Oh, wait, there's a lot of... No! <laughs> oh, I was not paying attention, was I? Shot a grenade right into the wall. Killed myself. That was special. Sometimes stuff like that'll happen. See, that's what I get. I said it was easy. Is the game punishing me? So yeah, something stuff like that'll happen. I can't even get mad at that. That was just that was my own shit show right there. Woo. Yes, lasers are my jam. Laser pistols are. What's up, Nexus Rider? Might raid. Am I getting raided right now? That's crazy. Damn. All right. Higher. It's uh, God damn it. Okay. Come on. I can't believe I just killed myself like that. That was awful. Nice, and I'm being hosted? I wish I was going to be playing for a lot longer. We'll see. I'll stay on as long as I can. Oh, I'm trying to focus, goddamn. Okay, I'm going to try not to blow myself up this time. That would be a huge plus. But I got the wrench and my laser gun, so we might be good. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No, no, no. Come on. Really? We got it. <laughs> no pressure. And yeah, obviously, since I'm playing on PS4, I'm using a gamepad. Which I actually, I don't know. On the PC version, I was using the mouse and keyboard, but I, for some reason, I prefer the gamepad, which I know is, like, blasphemous. Oh, goddamn. What do I got? Okay, go, go, go. Nah, the laser pistol's fine. like something to replace this wrench before the end of this level, though. We'll see. Let's go. That gas kills you, which is really fun. I remember the first time I died to that. That was super special. Max energy, that's good. And we're good. Oh yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. 
on this small stream. Oh god. Close. Yeah, see you later, Nexus. That's what sucks about those ninjas is they Oh god damn. They stay right there and really fuck you up because it looks like they're dead, but oh my god. This is gonna be the end of me right here. Is there another way I can get in there? No, of course not. Come on, come up at me. At least... That's one thing I'm thankful about in this game, is there's not a mechanic like Spelunky like the ghost where you can't be in the level for too long. Sweet God, how many are down there? But yeah, I only started playing this semi-recently on a regular basis, so I'm trying to get better. We'll see how that ends up going, but... What the f... damage. I would also like the increased melee range. Gotta think about this. Mm. I'm gonna die soon anyways. I'll go with the rhino skin, even though that's probably not the right choice. Energy ammo. One cool thing that I like about using the melee weapons too is if you hit the bullets, you bounce them back, which is nice. Fuck. Okay, got him. This is where it all goes to shit. This level is the bane of my existence. I don't even know what this does. Well, it's better than the wrench for this minute. I don't know that I've ever had this gun before. But it is pretty good. I've never really used the lightning rifle. Well, and I'm not going to because I'm bad at it. God damn it. Yeah, until I know what I'm doing, this run is actually okay. So I'm gonna stick with this. See, that's one of the problems in the later levels, is I get to a lot of weapons that I just don't know what I'm doing with. More HP and ammo drops.
But yeah, this is one of those points where around these levels here, I start feeling the... how the gamepad is not super ideal. Like, I mean, it's obvious this game was made on PC originally, and that's what you should probably be playing with, but... I don't know why I find the gamepad to be more comfortable. Mm. Yep, the dumb gun. This is usually around the area where I die. I don't know. I don't know what I really got to do to level up my play. I just get good is the answer. I do not want to waste these shots. I don't have very many. Okay. Higher max ammo. No. Last wish is good if you're in really dire situations, but I don't feel like that will really help. Higher ammo max, I guess, out of those if I had to pick. Okay, this does no damage, does it? And Lil Hunter is always what will fuck me. Always. God, I hate this thing. Ah! See? Oh man, I actually killed him, what? Alright. Normally that does not happen. Let's try not to die so I can get to the next level, because holy shit. Then we can watch me die spectacularly. We'll, uh, we'll go this way for, for a minute here. See if we can get some ammo. Nope, we can't. Great. Great, great, great. Holy shit. 6-1. Let's see if we can get the game to crash. This is one of the levels where it almost always crashes. Oh, man. Uh, seven bolts? Fuck. I need energy. Oh, ho, ho. Holy sweet God. Energy. Ah, fuck. God, I need energy so bad. I don't- I don't want to fuck with that. I don't know what it is. Oh! Are 
these are so many goddamn enemies, I, at least I'm getting HP. 10 energy, there we go, something. Oh my god, how many more enemies can there possibly be in this shithole? No, I need that. Ah! Yes, okay. Try our best, god damn it. And there it is, we crashed the game. Congratulations, everyone. Oh my god. What do we got here? Fatal error and action number one of alarm event for alarm one for object guardian. Collision line argument three, incorrect type five, expecting a number, YYVG. GG's, everyone. And thank you to the people who followed. I appreciate that. That's crazy that we got uh we got raided.